Hey guys, it's Jetta Man Dan here doing another uh, helper video uh, for anybody out there who wants it. Uh, today I'm going to go through the uh, Thunder AC6 charger real quick. Uh, I think this is the uh, the best deal out there on the market for a charger that will do uh, lipos and nickel metal hydride and uh, NICAD batteries and uh, even lead acid. Uh, 55 bucks from uh, from hobbyparts.com and I have used this exclusively on all of my uh, my lipo since day one probably put 800 charges through it and not have never had a problem I have a whole bunch of lipos and as you can see I've got helicopters and planes and everything so I use it exclusively for it and I even use this for my uh, RC uh, mini revo that's uh, that's also lipo so uh, Anybody who gets this charger, it doesn't come with instructions, so it's a little bit confusing. So I'll just go through basic stuff real quick. And uh, what I'm going to use here is I'm going to use a 1,000 uh, milliamp uh, 3S pack that I have for my helicopters real quick just to show you what to do. So um, basically it comes with power cord, which is why I like it. You can use it. It comes with plugs to use for uh, a car charger, but I like that it plugs into the wall. That's why the 55 bucks is great. Um, comes with a couple of power cords for different batteries, but only about three. What I bought was a, a squid charger, and all this is is um, just a lead system that then goes out to a bunch of different stuff. Um, it has a Dean's connector on it. It has a, a Traxxas connector, which I use for my RC cars. It's got the JST plugs uh, for batteries and even transmitter batteries. Um, it gives you a Tamiya plug uh, for my older RC cars, my NICAD batteries. It even gives you uh, an open position or two to use for anything you want to do if you have the new style stuff. So that's what I use um, pretty much exclusively. The Squid plug was like 12 bucks, and I think it's perfect for this charger. So basically, when you... Uh, you first plug it in, you're going to see the, the beginning screen, it's going to say Hoda Charger, and it's going to say Program Select. Uh, I'm just going to go through LiPo stuff, and uh, be pretty simple. Uh, it's got a red, a blue, a yellow, and a green uh, buttons on them. The red button says Battery Type Select, so you push that until it reads LiPo Battery. Uh, what you then do is you push the green button and it will give you a uh, lipo charge and if you keep hitting the green button it let, lets you do a couple different things it lets you change the charge voltage it changes the whether well, it's a 2s or a 3s pack what you can do is without either of these blinking you hit the yellow button and we'll go into lipo balance and lipo balance is what i use exclusively uh, i don't charge a lipo uh, without it um, i don't do a straight lipo charge i do the balance so once you hit lipo balance you decide what kind of charge you're going to do. So I'm going to hit the green button and it brings up the uh, the amperage. Uh, because it's a thousand milliamp pack and I don't charge over 1C, I use the blue button to bring it down to 1 amp and I hit the green button again. It brings up whether it's a 2S or a 3S. It's a 3S but it could be on 2S when you start so you just hit the button so you see 3S and you hit the green button again and it's ready to go. So what you then do is you take your your lipo battery it does come with the balance plug system and it'll do a, a, a two or three or four or five or a six cell battery this is a three so I'm going to plug it into the, the 3s port and then I'm going to plug the battery into my into my Dean's connector give me a second while I do that so the battery is now connected in both the uh, the balance plug and the Dean's connector and then what you do is you push and you hold the green button until it goes to battery check real quick and then it says this is your last chance to get out of this it says 3 SER for uh, 3 cell and it says either cancel for stop or confirm for enter and you hit the green button again and it starts charging what I then do is I hit the yellow button because I want to see the battery voltage and as you can see, hopefully, um, each cell is read out. These cells are all 3.49 or 3.5, and the battery starts to charge. And hopefully that's not too broken up on the screen. But basically what you can then do is the whole time you can monitor uh, the, the voltage of each cell and see where it goes. The, the charger will automatically turn off 
at uh, four point two volts per cell. Uh, there'll be a little screen that says it'll it'll flash full, and then it'll hit stop and flash full and hit stop. And when you're done charging the pack, uh, I always hit the battery stop button, which is the red button. Red button stops it, and it goes back to the main screen. The battery's no longer charging, and you can disconnect it. And if you follow that, um, basically, you know, uh, uh, a 1,000 milliamp battery is a, a one amp charge. I've got bigger cells that are 1.3, so that would, you know, 1,300 milliamps so that'd be 1.3, and you keep going from there. This is a this is an 1800 pack, so I would charge this at 1.8 amps, and that's keeping it to a 1C charge rate, and basically keeps you able to charge all your packs the right way, and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, for nickel metal hydride and NICAD, you know, you follow the same kind of principles. You pick the cells, uh, you pick the charge rate, and then you go from there. And uh, that's pretty much a quick overview, and it, uh, it's basically what you need to know about the AC6 uh, for lipo charging. See ya.